this decade that we have already started and we're already nine months into it is actually what science calls the decisive decade. Not the decisive decade of maybe this century. No, this is the decisive decade of the history of humankind. It's a preciously short piece of time. Nine years, 100 days, 10 hours, 57 minutes, 11 seconds ticking down. We need to act now. It's not a choice. We're going to get to zero. We're going to have to. We don't have time. So it's about time that we start listening to the science. But we're running out of time. We need action now. We gather the leaders which are actually delivering on this mission. We start with ourselves. We start with Ericsson. What can we do? We need to be part of the solution. We have to work with what we have here and now. We need an exponential change. We need much more companies to join the race. Like in Sweden, we moved from 4% of new sales up approaching 40% in just five years. All of this is going to be made possible by what we're seeing in terms of digitalization. Digitalization is really the way to kind of speed up the scale and the speed of this revolution. Last year, services like broadband, teleconferencing, and cloud networking helped save BT's customers 13 million tons of carbon. That's the equivalent of the carbon emissions of nearly 3 million UK households. We can provide the solar energy 24 hours a day. We rapidly transform the CO2 into stone. We've been able to reduce our carbon footprint while continuing to grow our manufacturing capability. New technology really enables us to tackle this challenge in a completely new way. Companies with a strong ESG criteria perform much better than their counterparts. Get ahead of the curve or you're going to lose. So we are at a point that things are starting to really happen. Last week, the government announced willingness to have 500 offshore wind power on the Orland Islands. It compares to three or four nuclear power plants. We also need to influence climate action in society. We want to inspire and inform one billion people. Only through collective action can we reach net zero. Togetherness is really the key word here. We owe it to our next generation, our children. So my friends, all we need now is the decisive determination to make it happen on time.